My dad migrated and only way I can contact him or see him or anything is over phone. Growing up, I was the only one out of my friends who didn't really have their parents around. My mom has been living abroad from I was like three years old. These are some of Jamaica's barrel children, those left behind when a parent migrates for economic opportunities. Barrel children are children who are waiting to rejoin their parents in the metropole. They receive material goods in the form of shoes, clothing, food, but they lack the emotional nurturance that they need. The name comes from the shipping containers used to send those goods back home. For decades, sending barrels have been a way to sustain families still living in the Caribbean. They're also an attempt to maintain an emotional connection. But Dr. Claudette Crawford Brown, a clinical social worker who coined the term in the early 1990s, says it's not enough. You have emotional um, reactions, you have behavioral reactions, you have um, deep psychological reactions. And they revolve around um, feelings of worthlessness, sadness, and sometimes that, that pain can last for a lifetime. She wants her research and advocacy to help the children of Jamaica and also to bring attention to the emotional impact of migration throughout the Caribbean. 15-year-old Lijan Reed was eight years old when his father moved to Canada. Although I have my mother, my stepdad, and my two brothers, I feel lonely because he don't call and those things. If I don't call, he don't call. Dr. Brown mentors kids like Reed using play and art therapy, and she's launched similar programs at schools across Jamaica. She stresses the importance of communication. They have to um, prepare the child beforehand and the notion of letting the child know exactly what is happening and when it is going to happen is not something that is left up to chance, but the child has to be involved in the process. There have to be family meetings. 26-year-old Nacia Houghton's mom left two decades ago to work as a nurse in Canada. From as long as I can remember, no one in my household has have ever worked in Jamaica. The entire household is supported from people living abroad. The salary her mom earns is now putting her through school and supporting her grandparents. We spoke to each other like every single day. We know what each other is doing. We know what, we know everything about each other because we keep in contact. She's just one video call away, I'm just one call away, and we just call, talk, every day. For others, regular communication is not enough to fill the void. Artist Kellyanne Lindell's parents left Jamaica for the U.S. when she was only eight years old. She now creates work inspired by her experience as a barrel child. The, the bond that my mother would hope that we have we don't necessarily have and I think that had to do with the fact that I had to sort of separate myself to kind of keep myself from hurting so now it's almost like she would say that I don't care or like I'm really cold towards her but it's that's not the case it's just our relationship is just you know you know I do love you I do care about you but that closeness that she would want is just not there. Linda wants her artwork to spark more conversation about how parental absence can impact people throughout their lives, not just during childhood. With migration being a path out of economic hardship for many people in the Caribbean, it's unlikely to end anytime soon. Find a way to contact your child. There's, all, there's so much method of communication. Speak to them as often as possible, get involved in their life, know their decision, know when they're sad, know when they're unhappy. Find the time to communicate with your child or your loved ones or family.